In this video, we are going to discuss how to install Cloudera Quick Start VM in Oracle VirtualBox. So in case if you need to install Cloudera Quick Start VM in your Windows 11, so you need three software that is VirtualBox, Cloudera Quick Start VM ISO and WinRAR. So I'm going to download this VirtualBox, Oracle Virtual, VirtualBox by clicking on this link that you will find out in the description. So download it according to your operating system like Windows, Mac OS or Linux operating system. Second thing is you need to download this file. This is a huge file. So just download it over a secure network and uh, which is reliable. And the third one is WinRAR. So I'm going to copy this third one and I'm going to download this WinRAR software. So this WinRAR will be helpful to extract the files in our operating system. Okay. So you can download it as 64 bit or 32 bit according to your requirement. After all the files has been downloaded. So just extract this file. So this Cloudera file extracted in the current location, okay, and also keep downloading this Oracle virtual box, okay. So this or Oracle virtual box will be started. So you need to just click on next, 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 and do the installation process. So hardly it will just take about uh, like 15, 20 seconds, and it will be done. So once this Oracle virtual box has been installed successfully, so what you need to do is you need to also extract the file so as we have already discussed so you can extract the file and once the file has been extracted so you will get the folder now from this virtual box what you have to do is so you have to first search whether the virtualization is on if your virtualization is disabled so how to check the virtualization go to task manager go to performance and then go to cpu and check the virtualization if the virtualization is disabled you cannot have this cloud area quick start vm in your system and to if it is unable you can just directly get it uh, in your oracle vm so click on import and browse the file location so where you have extracted the file go to that location go to the folder and you will find out this ova file okay so this file you will find it out and click on import so after the import it will ask you about the linux operating system how many number of ram cpu you want so you can change all this detail according to your configuration okay and click on import so after the import again it will take few minutes for you to start off with the services so once you import all this file so what you need to do is you need to just start this uh, cloudera quick start vm machine so double click on this and the machine will get start so hardly it will just take few minutes according to your configuration and in this Cloudera Quick Start VM, that uh, what you can do, you can just keep on running the services of Hadoop, Hive, Spark, all the big data components. Okay, so I have already opened this file, and if I see this Red Hat operating system is used for running this Cloudera Quick Start VM and its all the services. So it will just boot up in front of us in a few seconds. So just wait for that duration itself. So after importing this Cloudera Quick Start VM successfully, so you will get this window. And in this window, so what you have to do is you have to start the terminal. So in this terminal, we are going to see whether all my services that I required is successfully installed or not. So right click on the desktop, click on open terminal. And I'm going to look after whether my services are running, whether I'm, run, whether I'm able to run my Hadoop commands or not. So I'm going to write down SDFS, DFS hyphen LS space slash. So if I'm running this and if I'm not getting any output, that means my Hadoop services are closed. And what I need to do is I need to start up all these services. Okay. So I will just wait until I get the output. So if I get the output, that means my services are running perfectly. Okay. So still, if you wish to make any sort of a changes that you can also do it. So see, I am, I am getting the output. I'm getting all the files. So but i need to make sure like whether i am able to log into my system or not okay so for that one i have to restart the services of this cloudera by using by using the command sudo slash home slash cloudera slash cloudera manager space hyphen hyphen express hyphen hyphen force so this particular command is going to restart all the services of cloudera manager and cloudera manager is basically a type of user who is going to maintain all the services of big data tools like hadoop hive apache spark zookeeper every services 
so what you can do you can just wait until all the services get started and then you can directly go to your cloud era manager and can look upon the services okay so we will just wait until all the services get started so once all the services are being started so you will find it out at the bottom you will get the username and password for your cloud era manager so this cloud era manager is running on this port number 7180 you can click on from this bookmark and you can just give the id and password so the username is cloud era the password is cloud era okay and i click on i agree might be i have given the wrong password so you can just give it again cloud era and once again the cloud era log into the system and once you are logged into this cloud era manager on the left hand side you will find out all the resources all the services that are available so make sure you click on this drag and drop button and click on this start okay so you need to make sure if you are running sdfs so you have this yarn you have this sdfs and then you have this zookeeper services running okay so right so click on this drag and drop and click on this start button so it will start all the services and then you can configure it you can run it and you can get the output i hope everyone has enjoyed this particular video on installing cloudera quick start vm in your windows 11 so do like and subscribe to our youtube channel and in case of any query feel free to put it in the comment section bye bye